What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo here, and welcome back to my true first person shooter tutorial series. This is part 4.2, a second part to part 4, which I'll be renaming 4.1, just to uh, slightly alter the sensitivity setup that we've uh, got that causes a couple of problems um, in 5.3 and we're going to be just tweaking a couple of things that should solve um, a problem that a lot of you have been seeing where when you uh, look up and down the camera outpaces your hands um, and we are also going to look at adding leaning to our project here so as you can see here i can press q to look around to the left and press e to look around to the right to lean with nice smooth transitions. So without further ado, let me show you how to do this. Okay guys, first things first. Uh, now some of you may have encountered this problem where the camera outpaces the rotation of the spine bones here. Makes everything look a bit funky and the hands aren't fixed to the screen. Um, I have worked this out. It's uh, a little bit weird that so much has changed with 5.3 with things that uh, should just be, you know, just left alone in my opinion. But um, the problem is if you select your camera and then look here for use pawn control rotation, this is the issue here. If I uncheck this and then hit play, everything is fine, right? everything works fine but the issue is not with use control pawn rotation because we actually want to leave this on um, for when we set up the leaning because if we turn it off when we lean the camera will lean with us and it looks a bit it it looks okay but it's it's weird to control so what we're going to do is we're going to leave use pawn control rotation checked so this is going to be true okay and we're going to change our sensitivity controls here now we added um, the vertical sensitivity controls here to the um, the pitch when we set the pitch but what we're actually going to do is set it the exact same way as we did with the yaw so we're going to drag off of our get player controller and find set deprecated input pitch scale we can plug that in and we need our vertical sensitivity but we need to negate this because uh, otherwise it will be inverse so we just want to multiply this by negative one and plug that into the value there now because we're setting the vertical sensitivity here on event begin play uh, we want to go down here and we're going to make some changes here we do not uh, need to divide this by 2.5 and now if I just hit play as is now you'll see that the camera is now going far too slow and not keeping up with the rotation of the spine bones I don't know why this is the case but this value here is now four times too low to uh, to achieve the same results. Um, maybe they changed the uh, multiplier in here from 2.5 to four times or something like that. I'm, I'm not sure why, but if we multiply this by four, just going to move that, oop, just going to move this stuff out so it's a bit less cramped. We multiply this by four And now it's working correctly. The hands are staying with the camera. Um, but the vertical sensitivity is now really, really high. Uh, what have we got this set to? 0.6. Now, the reason setting it up like this is important is so that we can change our sensitivity and it all still works correctly. So um, this should still keep the hands with the camera. Yep and it's affecting the sensitivity. So we can exaggerate this to make sure it's really working. Put it down to 0 0.1. And now sensitivity is really low. 
hands are staying with the camera, they're not moving up and down at the extremes. That's all working well. So I'm going to put this back to 0 0.4. Nice. And with that done, now we're going to add leaning to the project. So the very first thing we want to do is find our inputs folder, which should be in first person input and actions and right click and add a new input action. We'll call this IA underscore lean. Open this up. We're going to change the value type to an axis 1D and we are going to add a trigger, change it to hold, drop down that index and change the hold time threshold to zero. We can save and close that. And then we just want to back out to input and open up IMC default. We're going to add a new mapping here and find our IA lean. We're going to click this little keyboard icon and press Q. And we are going to add another action mapping. Click this keyboard icon and press E. And on the Q, we're going to add a modifier and change it to negate. And the reason is that this uh, this input will put out an imp, uh, an action value and Q will output the action value of negative one and E will output the action value of positive one. So it's kind of similar to if you look at the move keys, um, our A and D should be different. So if I drop down A and D, you'll see that A has a modifier here and it's going to be negate because A is outputting negative one and D has not got that modifier, it's putting out positive one. So basically every, every action value um, that an action mapping outputs is plus one on the x-axis. So this is negating that, so this is negative one on the x-axis and the same with our Q and E. Um, I digress, but uh, just thought it a good chance to explain what's going on here. So. Um, we remember we changed this to an axis 1D, so this is along an axis with zero being the center. Q, because the modifier on negate is outputting negative one, and E is putting out positive one. So we can save that and close that, and in our MetaHumans blueprint, we're gonna find some empty space, find our IA lean. We're also gonna create a couple of variables. We'll call this one reset leaning question mark leave it as a boolean we'll create another one and we'll call it roll and change it to of type float reset leaning we're going to set here off of triggered we're going to set it as false and off of cancelled or completed we're going to set it as true we're also going to set our role up here. And to set it, we're going to use an F interp2, which helps to smooth things out. F interp2. We're going to grab role and that's going to be our current. The target is going to be set with a map range clamped. target here and the value is the action value that our input outputs our action mapping outputs so remember this is minus one to positive one so that's what we're going to change in range a and in range b to is minus one and positive one and the out range is going to be the angle that we want our uh, our character to lean on I'm going to apply roll to four of the spine bones. So I'm going to divide my desired leaning angle by four. So I'm just going to make this 10. So our character is going to lean at 40 degrees. Um, sorry, this will be negative 10 to positive 10. Okay, the delta time here, we can just get delta world seconds. And the interp speed that I've found to be quite nice is 10. Then what we can do is we can grab these four here and duplicate them down here. 
we're going to set the role down here but first we just want to check if a couple of conditions have been met so we're going to get a branch and an and boolean because we want two conditions to be satisfied the two conditions that we want satisfied are can we reset the leaning and is roll not equal whoops not equal to zero so if we can reset the leaning and the roll isn't already zero then we are going to set the roll based on this f interp2 we're going to push it towards zero and um, this will not do it in one go this needs to be looped until it reaches zero um, so what we're going to do is create a really simple loop by just adding a delay here and we're going to make the duration 0 0.005 of a second so 200 times per second it's going to interp towards zero here we're going to loop that back to the branch a couple of reroute nodes here just to make this cleaner so it's going to loop 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 and push the roll down towards zero um, and once it reaches zero this will trigger false and it will kill that loop um, we just to be sure we might just put off a false here we can set reset leaning to false so both of these conditions will be false um, and that's it for the event graph we can compile and save that and then we're going to find our animation blueprint which if I click on my body I can hit the browse icon over here find the animation blueprint and open it up and then off of character reference we are going to get roll and we are going to promote that to a variable plug it into the next execution pin here now we've got access to our role in our animation blueprint we can head over to the anim graph I'm going to grab this stuff on the left move it out and I am going to grab the first four spine bones and a make rotator duplicate them out here plug them in just making sure that those are plugged in properly yep now the reason I'm using four spine bones and not including the fifth I could just plug the roll in here but if we want to parent the camera bone the, ca the camera to spine bone 5 it's going to create some issues like just in general we don't want to put too many rotations on spine bone 5 because it will put things out of whack um, four bones is enough to smooth this out and make it look um, decent in in third person when we're when we eject and look at the character so I'm going to grab the roll and plug it into pitch Y here this is the one we need roll plug it into pitch and that should be everything if I hit compile and save and press play oh that vertical sensitivity is still really really high what's going on there uh, what have I done Oh, I've accidentally set vertical sensitivity to 2.4. Um, 0.4 is what I wanted. Oh, whoops. That's much better. And now if I lean, it leans, and I release, it goes back to zero. Um, I haven't got animations set up on this project yet. Um, now, the reason we wanted to check uh, use pawn control rotation on the camera is because if I uncheck this now you'll see that when I lean the camera will lean with him uh, now you might want to set it up this way um, but the problem is that our controls become a bit whack here because our up and down is rotating the spine bones and our left and right is rotating the character so relative to the camera um, the controls are a bit hard to you know if you were aiming 
the aiming would not be intuitive so I do not recommend setting it up this way we're going to leave use pawn control rotation checked so that we just we're leaning but he's kind of keeping his head upright, you know? Which is kind of how you lean, right? You don't lean and just tilt your head way out sideways. You, you stay in equilibrium. You stay vertical. Um, I, think, I think this works quite well like this. Alright guys, I'm going to address uh, an elephant in the room, which is that many of you would be waiting for the armor style aiming dead zone system. I am very sorry I haven't recorded that tutorial yet, but I have been very, very busy with my other jobs. Uh, the armor style aiming dead zone system is not the simplest tutorial to record. There is quite a lot that goes into it, but yeah, I've just been so super busy. Um, but this video is an attempt to add an installation to the true first person shooter tutorial series, just to let you guys know that I am working. Um, and I am hoping to get that armor style aiming dead zone system tutorial recorded this month, hopefully this month, almost certainly this month. Um, so yeah, if this tutorial has been of any use or value to you whatsoever, please hit like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.